Hi everyone. So in this video, we'll look at how the data kind of pointed at a top in April 22 and how it is not showing signs of distribution in this current market fall, right? So we'll look at both the data points, right? Especially the distribution data, which usually I never uh, kind of made a video on, right? So this is the first time to kind of see how the distribution data was during the previous falls and the current one so in usually in market there are two kinds of falls so many people feel that only if there is distribution then there is a fall but there are many times when there is a panic fall so when i say panic fall because of some news the market just keeps on going lower it is not because people are selling but it is due to lack of buyers because people are scared and very few are let's say buying and there are more number of people who are panicking and selling the market goes down when there is distribution that is big guys usually sell it so that causes a lot of weight and because of that weight amongst the retailers one and uh, it kind of has a ripple effect and then the market comes down so usually there are two different kinds of market falls one is led by panic the another led by distribution right so people usually think that every fall is led by distribution that is not the case many times we get panic falls as well right so let's see how the data is and what we can make out of it so usually accumulation is when the big guys are buying shares from the market and they are building a position right so that is the first thing that they do before they spike a stock up that is move its price up and distribution is when the big guys are selling shares in the market market and exiting their position right so whenever a distribution led fall comes in right it is usually a u-shaped recovery takes a pretty decent time to recover right so now what we'll do we'll look at how the data was in april of 22 right so in april of 22 just before that during this russia ukraine war when the news hit right so the small cap index had fallen almost six six and a half percent in one single day but even if you look at the data the data was very strong at that point telling us that accumulation was happening after that if you see what happened so in feb of 22 the very strong accumulation came in i even tweeted about the same thing uh, you can one can go and uh, cross check also if you want so after that the market had a decent 18 19 percent rally from a level of 9400 to almost 11000 now one might kind of tell uh, argue that okay why there was no distribution around the 12000 levels that we hit so even there there was a little distribution but the data was not that strong so why did distribution actually come in april of 2022 so in may of 2022 right the rbi did its first rate hike so looking at that that the rates are going to go up the liquidity is going to go down most of the big guys they kind of did their distribution around the april 22 mark right so april 4 5 6 7 so during that period when the market was just going sideways that is when majority of the distribution actually kicked in so uh, we'll go to the data point which suggested that and if you look at what happened after that almost a 25 percent crack came in so from levels of 11,000, we kind of went to as low as 8,000 or even lower a little lower 7900 there about right before kind of bouncing back up right so what caused this was the uh, thing that rbi was going to raise interest rates and also decrease the liquidity which it did by kind of uh, increasing the crr almost 85000 crores kind of uh, liquidity was taken out from the system so because of the news usually what happens the big guys already know what is going to happen right it's only the retailers who kind of know everything once the news is out so because of that these guys were already exiting their positions kind of uh, waiting for the news to hit once the news was out and the panic set in usually that is when they kind of again went out and bought around that eight thousand dollar levels the accumulation came back right so this is what happened in 2022 and if you look at that it took almost uh, a year or more for the market to recover from that right so 
a panic fall from february to march april we kind of covered that 18% but this 25% to recover that it took almost a year to do that right so panic led falls usually have a very strong v shape kind of a recovery distribution led falls whenever they happen you see a u shaped recovery it is a little more painful so if one sees right 2022 the whole year was kind of sideways for many people their portfolios were also in the red or slightly or maybe break even right so let's go to the data so in april of 22 where the top was actually happening 4th 5th 6th 7th 8th 11th and 12th right if you go to the chart and check it there there the distribution data showed levels of almost 200 for i mean that particular period so that was very strong compared to what we were seeing previously right so this data that is a lot of stocks in distribution kind of told us that there is going to be a fall in the coming days and we saw a 25% fall as well now if you look at this particular what is happening now so again the market went sideways for a pretty decent time right so even in february of 20 24 where the market went sideways and then corrected a good 15% even there the distribution data was not that great it was more like less accumulation so people get confused what is less accumulation what is distribution so less accumulation is the big guys kind of buying more shares so that is kind of less distribution is when they are actually exiting their position so that was not happening only thing is the distribu uh, the accumulation kind of went low so even when that happens some kind of a panic dip kind of comes in which kind of makes the uh, index or the stocks go lower and usually you have a v shape v shape kind of a recovery that we saw in april so after the march 15th uh, dip right we saw a v shape recovery coming in so again here now in april end and may second third right we didn't see great distribution right although the accumulation was kind of okayish after that we are seeing some kind of a panic drop because of the election thing probably some jitters there and also the rbi kind of making it stricter for lenders and all so these two things are weighing on the market and usually the market also kind of uh, Uh, goes into an election with some kind of jitters right so that is happening now if you look at the data here so the data is around that 100 120 mark which is not really this is the distribution data so when we compare this to the previous one wherein we saw almost close to 200 stocks being distributed this is not that strong right so because of this i kind of tweeted also that this is not a major top that we are seeing some kind of a panic that has set in which is causing people to kind of exit or exit their position and probably once the data accumulation data improves from these levels right we would definitely see some kind of a recovery usually the recoveries are in v shape right and this is not the top so i feel that one more rally should come in probably if around those levels we see strong distribution data then that would be very clear that we are going headed lower from those levels hopefully this helps to kind of take a better decision uh, i don't feel that we have made a uh, top yet probably the top would be done in a few weeks or months that all that will depend on the data so the data will guide us as to what is coming next have a good day thank you